questions for David Carr. Walk me through that first takedown you had on Caliendo where you almost got to like the ground to get to go for that double. Yeah, he was low and I had to get low to get the double leg. Something that I've gotten better at at times when guys try to go to their knees and so just a skill I've developed. It was kind of nice to hit it in front of Jordan Burroughs, so it was pretty cool. That was going to be my follow-up question. What was it like to hit that in front of Jordan Burroughs? I mean, when you got JB uh, commentating on the mic, I was like, there's, there's no brainer I'm going to try to hit a double leg, so... <laughs> I mean, I, I try to, I like hitting doubles and trying to get them clean, so it was pretty cool. How did you feel about your performance against a guy that probably came in pretty confident, feeling like, hey, I can keep this close and maybe have a shot, and you you didn't let that happen? Yeah, I just, you know, our, our main thing that our coaches always talk about, there's no pressure when you just focus on scoring points. So the whole time I'm just focused on scoring points and not worried about who I'm wrestling, what they're doing. I'm just worried about uh, the winning the next position, scoring the next <laughs> points, so. What was that atmosphere like for dual meet? Uh, it was insane. I've never wrestled out, wrestled in like Hilton sold out. So it was so loud. It was it was like a wrestler's dream. So you know to be able to wrestle in an environment like that, you don't get that very often. And so it was pretty special to do it in Hilton. What's it gonna mean for you personally and for the team to have a test like the Cliff King? That's like a mini NCAA tournament. Uh, a lot of ranked guys out there for everyone to potentially take on. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a great opportunity for the team. I just think that we can continue to build. You see, get to see um, how good some of our young guys are. And this weekend is a good test to see. You get a lot of a lot of ranked guys at 25, heavyweight, all over the board. So it's a it's an awesome opportunity. It's going to be a lot of fun. Talking about some of the young guys getting opportunities, obviously Evan Frost capitalized on opportunities last week and what do you want to see from him as he builds as he keeps building i was telling you guys don't play around with the frost bro i told you i told you at the beginning of the season those frost boys don't play around um he's going to continue to build he's one of the guys that worked extremely hard he's very disciplined um, i expect him to keep building this weekend um keep building up his stock and uh, it'll be a good weekend for him you also told us something about Chittam, and he just about got it done. I mean, what yeah. did you see out of him? I would say, I mean, he's a, a second or a hair away. You know, some, you know, it's a debatable <laughs> call. Uh, you know, it's tough, you know, ref putting in a hard position there. But I think that he he, sh he shows you right where he's at. I mean, he's, he's wrestling with the number two guy in the country. Um, he's scrapping with him. He looks very sharp. He looks like a veteran. And he's going to continue to build and learn. He's still growing, obviously. But he's going to, by the end of the year, he's going to be a guy that is going to turn a lot of heads. As a team leader, what's it mean for you to see a guy like Anthony Etchemendia drop down to 141 so Casey Swiderski can pop in at 49? Yeah, I mean, it's really cool to see the chemistry of the team. Uh, we're really tight this year, and it feels like a family. And so that was just a decision that, you know, Anthony, he's a really good guy. He, you know, he's, hey, I'm, I can make 41. I certify at 41. And I know how important it is to, for us to have a tough lineup. And he's done a great job. He's disciplined. He's worked hard. And he's he's kept his head down and just trained. Casey was another guy who went out there and got a top 10 win. And he's looked, he looked, he's looked A, really good so far this year and looked really good in that win. How have you seen him grow from last year to this year? A ton. You could see that the wisdom, all the learns, all the things he learned from last year is coming and is showing for this year. He worked really hard over the summer. He's learned a lot, and I'm really excited to see what he can do this year because, I mean, he came to the, he wrestled back like a champ in, at the NCAA tournament. He's a guy that you want to see um, progress, and I think this tournament is another opportunity to see him progress and show you how much he's gotten better. You mentioned earlier that the goal for all you guys this year has been to be a top five team at the NCAAs. After facing a team in Iowa that's routinely in there, if not higher, where do you kind of view yourself in that area right now? Yeah, I think our team looks good. Like I said, I think there's we got a lot of close matches um, that we can go back and fix some things. You know, you learn a lot more from a loss, and if you're winning, you just continue to grow and build on what you need to do. But those guys that didn't get get it done. I mean, it's just back to work. It's early in the season, and I think we're going to make a lot of adjustments. And by the end of the year, I think we could walk away with a trophy if everyone's healthy and everyone uh, continues to get better. I know you touched on it, but how valuable is wrestling in a tournament-style setting this time of year with that level of competition, the intensity? I mean, just how valuable do you expect that to be? No, I, that's huge. I, I'm, I'm actually really happy that we get to wrestle in this tournament. It's been a while before we've had a chance to wrestle the Cliff Kane or a scuffle or anything like that. So it's nice. I think it's going to be fun for our guys to wrestle that tournament style. 
and get those reps in. It's, it's like a practice, um, you would say, for the national tournament and other big tournaments. So um, I'm, I'm really happy that we're going this year. It's going to be a great experience, and uh, I think it's going to be good for our young guys, good for everybody. All right. Cool. Thank you much. Thanks, David. Yeah. Appreciate it.